The move towards more energy efficient and sustainable networks and operations is now very high on the list of priorities at communication service providers the world over. And it's no different in Japan, where Rakuten Mobile is taking a data-driven approach to its sustainability strategy. To find out more, I'm talking today with Anna Haruzia, who is Head of Sustainability at Rakuten Symphony. Anna, thanks very much for joining us today. Pleasure to see you. Uh, now, you have a background that makes you ideally suited to this role at Rakuten Mobile. Can you tell us about that and also about the importance of data as the telecom sector seeks to tackle this significant challenge? Yes, um, I'm coming actually uh, into telecom industry from finance and VC field and um, I have been working with KPMG in audit and then moved to VC to work in finance uh, with a lot of our ventures. I've seen a lot of industries, but I think uh, what uh, is similar or same across all of them is the data-driven decision-making uh, if you're working in finance. And um, that stayed with me. Uh, during the last uh, three years with Rakuten Symphony, I talked a lot to our customers about uh, our solution, right? So we already have a data-driven approach to network uh, performance measurements. And uh, what we realized as well is it's very important for our clients to uh, look at the sustainability area also from a data pr perspective, especially in energy. If you think about it, energy um, takes about 20% of uh, OPEX spent or even more for some operators. And um, they, the, the telecom operators also are under enormous pressure to reduce their carbon footprint carbon footprint. Currently, the industry is a little bit behind. If you think about it, uh, industry contributes, according to some sources, about 1% uh, only to carbon, uh, carbon emissions, um, uh, if you look at all of the industries, right? So I think that's one of the reasons why it is a little bit behind. But um, the pressure increases, and uh, I think the data would help the uh, telecom companies uh, to, to approach uh, this challenge differently. Okay, and how would you say this has informed Rakuten Mobile's vision for what telecom can achieve with respect to vastly improving energy management? Yeah, so um, our network in Japan that we built, right, is software-centric and uh, cloud-native uh, network. And our approach to uh, managing the whole network KPIs is already data-driven. And uh, if you think about it, uh, we want to create energy uh, energy KPI, right? So it's uh, energy consumption of the whole network uh, that we would like to see in the same place where we see also network performance because we don't want to compromise, of course, the customer experience. Um, even though we want to to, to manage uh, the carbon footprint of our network um, properly. And uh, currently there are a lot of tools uh, around there where we can see the energy consumption of different elements of the network, but they're not in the same place. Uh, there is no system that would alarm you uh, uh, if, if uh, the energy consumption goes overboard, right? So in real time. And uh, so the goal is to have it all in one place and in real time. And basically, if you think about it, I think telcos should demand uh, their vendors uh, in the SLAs to, to have that uh, capability, right? Uh, because they care about the network performance uh, uh, SLAs. Uh, why not about the energy consumption uh, SLAs uh, as well? And uh, that's where we, we would like to take it with um, uh, Rakuten Symphony. Okay, well, I mean, there's no doubt that a, a standard energy efficiency KPI for operators would be incredibly useful. Uh, how can operators use this kind of data to accelerate their reduction of energy consumption in a way that makes a truly meaningful dif difference? Yes, I think um, it's a very good question. And uh, I think I can think of four steps. So first step would be we would identify 
the areas for uh, additional improvement, right? Uh, if 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 we would have it all visualized in one place, and then uh, we as a next step, we would be able to uh, intelligently control the energy consumption in the network as well, while also uh, having in mind the planning of the network as well, right? So I think the the uh, telecom companies should really th- rethink how they approach the planning of the network and have the carbon footprint already in mind when they, when they do so. And um, all of these three steps already would also help the operators to uh, potentially focus the energy consumption for future years, right? So why it is important? Well, the energy prices increase and um, that would give a good idea what kind of um, PPA contracts, for example, they would be needing to negotiate with with their energy vendors uh, as one of the examples. And ultimately, the the last step is to have um, uh, a uh, well-learned AI uh, model uh, that uh, would bring us closer toward the autonomous network. Because in, in Rakuten Symphony, we really envisage that uh, at the end of the day, the uh, network operation would become autonomous, right? So we would uh, not need any more uh, a lot of human interven- intervention. And we think that the energy data is a very important component uh, of, of such efficient autonomous network. But of course, to have a well-trained AI model, we need a lot of data, right? So, and we think in order to accelerate it, uh, we need to collaborate um, uh, within the industry more than we do now. So, I mean, what would that collaboration look like? Well, of course, there are a lot of ways uh, that that uh, telecom operators already collaborate, right? So, uh, and especially in Open RAN, and we are coming, of course, from Open RAN area, right? So, we do uh, collaborate uh, on on development of standards. I think we would continue to collaborate on standardizing how we uh, measure energy on the network element component, right? But uh, in Japan, in a way, we have the living lab, right? So we have uh, all data available and um, our doors are open. We, we, we do a lot of uh, customer visits um, and not only customers, right? So we are open to any uh, telecom operator that, that would like to see um, how we work and also to see the way how maybe we can combine data uh, together and train, train the models also together. So uh, we are inviting everyone in Japan, and we see that it's the best way forward. Okay. Well, I mean, this is a, a vitally important topic and a vitally important move for the whole industry. So uh, I hope that uh, the call for collaboration will be met during 2023 and beyond. So uh, really fascinating stuff, Anna. Thank you very much for your time and your insights today. Thank you. Thank you.